Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the Marilyn Darling Show. And welcome to another episode of an Ink Review. Today we're looking at a brown ink from Karen de Ash. If I can have some focus, maybe. some focus. All right, there. Karen de Ash, Grand Canyon. Thanks go out to the OC Pen Club for providing the sample for this review. Today's pen, we will be using the Fountain Pen Revolution Himalaya version 1 with a fl ultra flex nib. And let's take a look at this ink. This is a really pretty ink. It's very nice and brown-esque. Not quite the happiest brown ink, but it's nice. It does have like the tiniest bit of shading, but not super evident. And here is our ink swatch and water resistance test shows that it does have a little bit of water resistance. However, probably not enough that I would consider putting it on the outside of an envelope for fear it may wash away. Okay. Here is our ink painting of the day. Looks very nice, very nice. Kind of Grand Canyon-y looking a little bit maybe, no? Maybe. Now this surprised me. This totally, utterly shocked me. I couldn't believe that there was this much going on with this ink. There is, so I put the ink down, I let it dry, and then I put eight drops of, I put two drops of ink and eight drops of <clears throat> water, and I got this blue that's left behind, and then this brown, this dark brown color, and then this orange color, and then an even lighter orangish yellow haze around the edge of that. So that totally shocked me. I would not have guessed this to be an orange ink, but who knows? Today is a very exciting day. Because it's a new pen day. <sighs> I should. I need to stop buying pens next month because I need to get my credit card under control. All right, <clears throat> this is the Pen and Gear Memo book from Walmart.com. There's no feathering and no bleeding and no ghosting. <laughs> This is lightweight traveler's notebook paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no gusting. This is light, super lightweight traveler's notebook paper. Nice shading, no feathering, normal amount of bleeding and gusting. This is moleskin 70 GSM. Feather like a chicken, bled through the page. This is Fabriano, oh no, sorry, this is Field Notes Journal. It is spreading into the page, and it did bleed through the page. This is Fabriano Eco Qua 85 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no gusting. This is a Yush 100 GSM paper. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no gusting. This is 52 GSM Tomaway River. No feathering, no bleeding, and normal amount of ghosting. This is the Jot Journal from the Dollar Tree. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is Marmon Namasani 80 GSM Dot Red. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding. 
And only a little bit of ghosting. Alright, this is Oxford Optic Paper. A little bit of shading, night, no feathering. A little bit of bleeding, a little bit of bleeding, and a little bit of ghosting. Claire Fonte, 90 GSM. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, but a little bit of ghosting. Plummy Booklet, 90 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, but a little bit of ghosting. Exceed 100 GSM paper from Walmart.com. Does look like it's trying to spread into the page, and there is a little bit of bleeding and a little bit of ghosting. <clears throat> up and up, wide rolled composition book from Target.com. Calm. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, but a lot of ghosting. True Red Composition Book, Staples.com. It is feathering and spreading into the page. And it did bleed through and ghost through the page. All right, this is the Nanami 7C 68 GSM Tomoe River. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. This is the Rhodia Dot Pad 80 GSM. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Hi, Shay Shay Girl, how are you doing today? This is Buffet Handmade Paper from Italy. And if we look very closely, we can see that it is feathering into the page, but no bleeding, no ghosting. Weird. All right, this is the U-Style Notebook Paper. I'm doing very well, also at work, so. Little bit of feathering and a little bit of ghosting and heavy, a little bit of bleeding here and there. <coughs> CVS Caliber Notebook Paper. Nice shading, no feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Oxford Notebook Paper. No feathering, no bleeding, no ghosting. Mead wide rolled notebook paper. Not really feathering that bad, but bled through the page. Five star notebook paper. It is feathering like a chicken and it did bleed through the page. HP Premium 32 pound copy paper. It is spreading into the page. And it is bleeding, a little bit of go heavy ghosting through the page. JNB Copper Plate Graph Pad from JohnNeilBooks.com. Not too much feathering, but it did bleed through the page. Original Crown Mill 100 GSM paper. It is spreading into the page, and it did bleed through the page. Very interesting mixed results. <clears throat> Let's do a comparison panel. <clears throat> I don't have too many brown inks, so this should go relatively quickly. Okay, where am I? Put that down to that. 
there. Okay. This is Karen de Ash. Grand Canyon next to Monteverde Chocolate Pudding. I am going to bump up the exposure just so you guys can see the difference between these. <clears throat> Monteverde Birthday Cake. Noodler's Beaver. Dia Tremendous William Shakespeare. These could be cousins. Tasha Umi Marisaki. Waterman Ancre Havane. Of, um, Private Reserve Vampire Red. Robert Oster Hippo Purple. Oh. <sighs> Noodler's Red Black. Dia Tremendous Document Urban Sienna. No. No, no, no. Jabba, Lee de Tay. Pannonia, Gitten, Yabarna. Noodler's Polar Brown. Diamine Ochre. No, no. Monarcha, Tiara, Tiara, Colorado. No, 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 no. Birmingham Muskrat, Jabba, Coco de Brazil, Platinum Sepia Black, Noodler's Whaleman Sepia, Roar and Clinger Sepia, Diamine Chocolate Brown, Carcos Brown, Diamine Winter Spice, Ferris Wheel Press Beaver Dam Brown, Pen BBS 510, Diamine Becky, Noodler's Walnut, Noodler's Nightshade, Lamy Crystal Topaz, Monteverdi Scotch Brown. If I didn't know better, I would think that these were exactly the same ink. Diamond Yule Log, Wearing Glow Queen of Hearts, No, Infinite Q, Pick Me Up, Nikita, Mason's Song. Dusted Truffle, Raw Sienna, Saddle Brown, Nude, and Honey. Very nice, very nice. Well, what did you guys think of today's ink? Are you guys looking for a brown ink that's got some interesting chromatography abilities let me know in the comment section below that is all i got for today i want to thank you all for watching i hope that you guys enjoyed this one i hope that you learned something please share this video with your friends follow me on social media like comment subscribe ring the little bell make sure it's set to all so when i upload new content YouTube notifies you, and I will be back very soon with another video. So, take care until then. Oh, I love you, bye. Have a great day.